Hi. Motorhome Diaries 3. What motorhomes you can expect to buy for your budget. So what motorhome can you buy for your budget? Let's look at under 10 grand. You're not really going to get a decent motorhome for under £10,000. You might get a camper van or a self-built camper van for under £10,000, but it will be old and you will get just the basic features in the camper van. But as far as a motorhome goes, that it won't, I personally think 10, 000, below £10,000, you will not get a decent motorhome. If it's too good to be true, then it generally is. So an example of something under 10,000 is a home build camper van, just like this. Uh, what you're getting is a rock and roll bed, table, pop top roof. You're getting a little 12 volt fridge, hob grill and cold water. So under 10,000, good little starter van. So next you've got to look at the next bracket. 10 to 15,000 and in that bracket you will get yourself a decent camper van and it'll be a branded camper van something like this an auto sleeper symbol good good vans in the day um, also it will be around about a 1999 to about a 2002 um, so it will be old it will be prone to rust so you will have to keep on top of the van and also please when you buy one of these um, the Peugeots, all the Fiat's pre-2002, take them for a test drive because they are renowned for crunching gearboxes. So take it for a drive. If it's crunching, normally in second or third, just keep away from it because it's an expensive mistake. So the 10 to 15,000, you'll get a good camper van. Right, 15 to 20,000 pound. I personally think that's the ideal budget you should have in mind for your first motorhome. Now it's going to get you a motorhome, two to four berth, between the ages of 2002 up to about 2007. And the type of motorhome it'll be, will be on this type of shape. Now this is a Peugeot, and this one's a Fiat. Now in my opinion, between 2002 and 2007, that's when motorhomes were built at the best. Weight wasn't an issue, good quality was used, and you can get some really good builds on this, this age of motorhome. So here's an example of a motorhome around about the 15,000 mark. It's a 2002, um, it's on a Peugeot, um, it's made by Aldis. Good storage all the way around. U-shaped lounge, which is really popular layout for first time motorhomers and also for people who've had a caravan and want to get into motorhoming for the first time. You have your hob, your grill, your oven, your fridge, heating, hot water, combined shower and toilet and there's overcap sleeping as well. Good starter van. So here's another example of a motorhome around about the 15,000 and this one's made by Bessie Car. And the older Bessie cars are really a good, good quality build. I really like the older Bessie cars. <clears throat> so what you've got here, you've got two bench seats, which will be made into a double. You have an overhead cab, and then we have good prep area, and then the kitchen area is at the back. So we have fridge, hot and cold water, hobs, grill, oven, a combined shower and toilet, and a fire. So a good starter van for somebody getting into motorhoming for round about the £15,000 mark. While we're still on the fifteen to £20,000 bracket, I just want to come back to campers or van conversions. And these vans are a great start, starter van. They're made by Trigano and they're the Trigano Tributes. They're a bigger version than the Auto Sleepers. Um, pretty much the same type of layouts um, with the belted seat here, um, the long bench seat which you can make into a double. Um, you've also got your shower and toilet, hobs, grill, fridge, everything you need to go camping. Great van and roughly from 2003-04 to about 2006-07 you're going to get a van between the 15 20000 pound bracket.
So now coming up to the £20,000 mark, we have a 2007 Peugeot with a slightly different shape to the older ones. And this is now moving on to the crossover to the facelift model that starts from 2007 onwards. So now inside the 2007 Peugeot, this is actually an Aldis and it is a family van. So what you've got is you've got the dinette with the two belted seat belts. This can be made down into a double bed. We have the bench seat as well, which can be made into a sleeping area. And we also have the over cab bed as well. Two people or two children can sleep in. So we're now getting into the realms of a family motorhome. So at the rear of the motorhome, what you have is the kitchen area where we have a three-way fridge, hot and cold water, hobs, grill, oven, and then we have a combined shower and toilet. So £20,000 up now, we're getting into the family vans and from 2007 to newer. So now what we're doing is we're coming to the facelift model, which is 2007 onwards. Um, so where you're going to start paying now is round about the 23,000 and upwards. So as you can see now, we're starting to get more of a modern interior. We have lighter upholstery, lighter woodwork. We're starting now to get more modern skylights. And we're also getting modern appliances with the hot plate, mixer taps. And digital displays as well. And as we come along to 2010, you're coming up to around about the £30,000 mark. And then from around about late 2014, the new shape appeared. So now we're getting into the 35000 and above. As we're getting now um, into motorhomes that are three or four years old, we're starting to get all the plush fittings like the aircraft style lockers. And we're also getting the panoramic sunlights, LED lighting, um, the, all the posh interior. So with the motorhomes are really moving up a notch or two now and with microwaves in a standard, um, gas obs with the hot plate in, three-way auto-find fridges. So we're, now we're with the 35,000 and upwards family type motorhome. Um, this is a six berth with a drop down bed, end lounge, um, with a different colour cab, so we're going really now modern. So what we've got inside is just like the same as the uh, other motor out. We have the panoramic sunroof, um, the aircraft style lockers, and the, here we have the dinette, and then what we've got now are the drop down beds electronically. And then at the rear of the van we have the U-shaped lounge, which can be made pulled out to make a, a big double bed and then we have the kitchen area and then we have a separate washroom and toilet so we really have moved up a notch from the 2002s um, as you can see a well fully equipped six berth motorhome so with the higher end bracket around about the 35 to 40 thousand this is what you're going to get um, it's going to be two or three years old with low mileage all the mod cons are in excellent condition. And this is what you get for your money, a nearly new used motorhome with ex in excellent condition. With, with pop-up um, electric sockets, hob, oven, grill, hobs, three-way fridge, microwave, separate shower and toilet, and a fixed bed. Okay, so you've seen what motor what motorhomes you can actually get for your money. Now, if it's your first motorhome, an ideal starting point is fifteen thousand. Really, you want to have twenty thousand, and that'll get you an half decent motorhome. And then, obviously, if, then you'll know then if you actually enjoy the motorhome or not because they don't de depreciate that much. But then, obviously, as you get into the motorhoming, then you can part X and move up to thirty to forty thousand, and that's where you do see all the new modern equipment and interiors coming into it. So I hope that's been some help to you. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Um, leave a comment below with any vlogs that you'd like us to do in the future or any questions that you want to ask us that we could feature and we'll see you next time.